Hello everybody, I'm the Silver Sage Witch of witchcraftandmore.com and you guys, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday and it's time for another episode of Witch Quickie Wednesday and we are going to be doing part two of three episodes. Ooh, yeah. Um, before we go any further though, I really would like to uh, say thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for those of you who took the time to watch my videos and leave a message and a comment. And to those of you who send me private messages, I'm really grateful to you. Thanks so much for um, helping me pump it up <laughs> and get things moving in such a positive way. It's such a wonderful feeling. Um, to all of the new subscribers, Welcome to all of the subscribers who have been here for 69 years. Why did I say 69 years? I don't know, but who have been here for a long time. You guys, thank you. And I'm really grateful for you guys. You guys are the foundation of this channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Everybody, please make sure that you click on the little bell that is uh, next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, <laughs> if you haven't already. And that way you'll be notified of all of the upcoming videos that I'll be doing. Don't forget, I've got videos on Mondays also. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to say something real quick. I know, <laughs> I know that I talk a lot, but I feel... I sincerely feel that I've got something meaningful to say and something that will help you. So hopefully you feel the same way, but if you don't, you can skip forward a bit. I understand, it's okay. Not everybody's down for a lot of talking. So if you wanna go ahead and skip forward a bit, go right ahead. Um, but it would be nice if you'd leave a nice comment down below and get some of your friends to subscribe or your family or somebody off the street, doesn't matter who. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I before I go any further, I want to show you guys something. This is great. Look, can you see it? <laughs> this is the Academy of International Witchcrafting, of which I am proprietor and headmistress. <laughs> You guys, these courses are really, really um, helpful, okay? So hopefully you will think about joining uh, my academy. It is an online academy, and it's going to start on the 22nd of April this year. Um, I will have the information listed below, and it's also going to be in the video um, so that you can write it down. Okay, so let me put this over here for now. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get started with the good stuff. Okay, last time, last week, we had our self-love candle that we dressed and inscribed, okay? If you haven't seen part one, you might wanna have a look at it. Even if you just, you know, fast forward a little bit, okay? Um, but it's really important to follow along with this because this is a three-part uh, ritual working, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rose oil or rose oil wannabe, wannabe rose oil, <laughs> and I'm going to add some to my candle before I actually light it because I don't know about you, I just love this smell and it helps to change the atmosphere here in the room, okay? And that's really what all of the props are for. Because in witchcrafting, something that you need to know, if you don't know already, is that you, my dear, you are the magic. 
these props, they are here to help focus your intention. They are here to strengthen your intention. Okay, that's what this is doing. This is helping you to slip more into the mood that you need to be able to manifest and create and, and <laughs> make a life that you want to make something happen that you want, to manipulate energy. And that's one reason that I just absolutely love witchcrafting because yes, I am powerful enough that I, I, the Silver Sage Witch, Lady Silver Sage, can manipulate energy. And you know what? So can you, if you learn how to do it properly. And you can start making really wonderful things happen for you. I just, oh, it just gives me shivers. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and relight our candle. Hopefully you did go ahead and put it in the ice water and let it stay there and burn some. And hopefully you meditated on this candle and you saw things that would help you to achieve this goal of self-love. Okay. That's what I'm hoping that you did last week. And if you have not done it, it's okay. I'm not the type of person who's going to yell at somebody because you know what? This is your life. Okay, I'm just giving you the tools that you need, which basically are inside of you. So I am helping you to realize that you have the tools that you need in order to manifest the life that you desire, the feelings that you desire, how you wish to, to feel about yourself and how you want to be as a human being and to help you understand that you are a goddess. And if you're a male that's watching, you are a god. It's simple as that. And don't forget, women have God in them. And, and men have goddesses in them as well. Okay. It's, for me, the way that I think... Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Look at the flame on this. I don't know if you can see it, man. It is sharp. That's right. It is just coming up. Yeah, power, baby. Okay, I don't know um, if you guys know it or not, but <laughs> the way I see it <laughs> is that it takes a man and a woman to make the baby, okay? <laughs> Simple as that. That's, that's pretty easy. Trust me, a lot of times when you're not ready to find that out, you find it out. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Goddess, God, in everything, in everything, okay? So, as long as we remember this, we'll understand how to balance this power. Because believe me, it is raw, uncut, primal power. And the only way that it can be bridled is if you allow it to be bridled. And if you have allowed it to be bridled, like I have in my past, it's time to fix that right now. It's time to fix it. And that's what we're doing. That's why we're doing this three-part series on uh, self-love. Okay. We're going to fix this situation. We're going to make it the way you need it to be. We're going to make it so that you come out. The real you, not the you that somebody told you you need to be, not the you that somebody told you that you must be, but the you that you desire to be. That's what's important here. And that's what we've got to keep in our minds, okay, at all times. No matter what the situation, even if in, you're in a situation right now where it's not the best situation, keep it in the back of your mind 
that someday this situation is going to change because I am showing you how to help change that situation. That situation, excuse me. And I also want to make sure that you know this is not the only way. I have some other ways that are a lot more intense. But that is for the people who wish to have me as their personal teacher, I guess you could say, their personal advisor, their personal guide. If you're interested, let me know, okay? All right, what we have here today is we've got a cauldron or something where we can burn something safely, fireproof vessel. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. Got my little treasure chest and I've got some things in it, which I will show you in a moment. You don't have to have a treasure chest, just have something you can put your little treasures in, okay? You need writing paper. We've got writing paper here. Of course, your journal. Um, like I said, you can have a journal. You can have paper towels. You can have a piece of paper. You can have a paper bag. You can have a piece of toilet paper. You can have a piece of leftover Christmas wrapping paper. If it's blank on one side, that's fine. Whatever you can get your hands on, that's fine. And of course, you're going to need a writing implement pencil, pen, whatever you got, crayon. Um, let's see, we got the rose oil or any type of uh, scented oil that you like. I prefer the essential oils if possible. If not, use what you got. If you don't have oils but you got perfume, use that, you know. If you don't have perfume but let's just say that you've got bubble bath or you've got dishwashing liquid, all you've got to do is put hot water in a little bowl and put some of that in there and stir it around and the scent will permeate the air, okay? So that will take care of the situation if you have no scented oil or essential oils, okay? Another thing we're going to need is <laughs> um, a piece of soap. Now hopefully this is going to be a fresh piece of soap that's never been used before. But, if you only have soap that has been used before, um, don't worry about it. Use it, okay? If you only have, like, um, what, do you, what do you call that? Shower gel or shower cream. That's okay, as long as you have your own separate little bottle that you can write on, okay? Because we're going to need to to do a little, a little bit of writing here, okay? So what I want to do before we get started here, I find that this is very, very important. What we're going to be, be doing here is, is breaking the chains, okay? This is one of the books that I've written. Yes, it is a shameless plug. This book is available <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> if you like this poem, please go ahead and do something nice and purchase one of my books. That'd be nice. But listen to this seriously, okay, you guys? This is something that I wrote back when I was married quite a long time ago to that man who coerced me to come to Germany with all of the empty promises and so on and so forth. I'm going to try to read this the way that I felt back then. The name that I've entitled this poem is called Break these chains. I break these chains that bind me to a small-minded, miserable, empty existence. I rise above it all to the best of my ability and flow with the ever-changing currents of life and I choose to be, to live, to do. My thoughts and actions are beginning to include the powerful balance that slowly but surely affects change. The change that catapults me into the positive energies of my successful life. Into the here, into the now, into the future. Change cannot and will not cease to exist. 
Therefore, I challenge myself to acquiesce to its bold and sometimes calloused demands. Shall I give in? <clears throat> or shall I break these chains and forge ahead with all that I am worth to grab that golden ring? The decision of choice rests squarely upon my own shoulders. I choose to grab that golden ring. These are some of the thoughts that I was having back when I was going through such a horrendous hell of life. Actually, it wasn't even living, it was just an existence that I was going through. And perhaps a lot of you are in that situation right now. Put your thoughts down on paper if they will not be found and used against you. Okay? And if you cannot put them down on paper, if you ever get a chance to be alone for a while, say the words out loud or to yourself that you wish to put on paper someday. Because this will get that nastiness out of you. It will cleanse your soul. Okay, we are moving on. So, before I really get into this, this is something that I think is so important to do. If you would like, I will put the words down below. Or I can send them to you in an email, however you would like, okay? But these are my words that I use, and they might help you. So, blood spirits of mine, I now call unto thee. Assist me now, so I can be free. I'm calling my spirits of my blood to me here today. Okay, that's what this was for. Because I know that I am a strong individual. Because I've gone through some mighty dark times just like you have. And I'm not even gonna say just like you probably have because I know you have, because you are a very strong individual, a human being, a person, and everybody has got to go through trying times. I don't care who you are, everybody, <laughs> even the most um, wealthy, the wealthiest person in the world is still going to go through some dark times. So, um, yes. <laughs> This is what we need, our blood spirits, to assist us, to break these chains, to free us from these chains that bind us, okay? What we're going to do at this time before um, we go on to the next part of this is we're going to take this soap that we have. Now, like I said, if you have a hard piece of soap, that would be absolutely wonderful. This, of course, has the rose scent to it. Just love it. Just love it. Oh, so great. Um, if you're not doing this during this video, that's fine. You can just go ahead and get your soap and come back at another time. Okay? But let's just start with... For example, oh, I have no hard piece of soap, but I do have a bottle full of um, shower cream or shower gel. Okay, so what I would do with this is I would take my, um, my smudge stick and I would light it, of course. <laughs> yeah. And then... I would cleanse it, even if it's been used before. Okay, it's okay. Cleanse. Cleanse. Remove all negativity. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my piece of soap also. Let 
that smoke itself out. And then what you would do is on your bottle of um, shower cream or shower gel, you would just take a, what do they call that, a Sharpie? And you would just write on here, um, I am love. I am lovable. And I still love. Or you could choose the words that you like. Okay. But I find that these words are very, very strong. And they really touch my soul. Because when I found out that, yes, I am still lovable after everything that I had gone through, that's what gave me strength. Okay, I had to realize that no matter what has befallen me, whether it's the times that I've been raped or beaten or mentally manipulated or stolen from or whatever your story may be, you are lovable. And you are loved because as long as you can remember that you have your blood spirits with you, you are loved. As long as you can remember that you are a wonderful human being through it all, then you know for a fact you are loved. And even if you cannot love another at this time, even if you feel like you cannot love yourself at this time, still write it on here. Still engrave it upon this soap. Okay? Because it is coming true. It is coming to fruition. It is happening. You are going to be able to love yourself and others no matter what has happened to you, no matter what you're going through right now, okay? So, I should be ready. <laughs> ready? So, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna write this on here. I just, ooh, child, I just love this from my sister. I already told you this is from my sister in America. Sis, thank you. I know you're watching. I love you. So I'm writing on here. I am love. I am loved. And I, I still love, I still love, I can, I can still love, you can still love, you can still love. Ooh. And then, put that in the garbage, the little cringly things right here. And we gotta clean this up here, a little mess. All right, so put that over there so it doesn't get broken. Hmm. All right, so we've got that on here. You've got this on your shower bottle, okay? What you can do now is I'll do it with this. Take my shower bottle in my hand, like this, my hands. And then I ask whomever it is that I work with, whether it be my blood spirits, whether it be the angels or God or the goddess, the creator, with whomever it is that you work with, to please work through 
my body and strengthen this imbuement that I'm doing now of this soap, this cleansing apparatus that will help to cleanse me physically and the scent will help to cleanse my senses and to open my mind and to help me to focus on that which I need to focus upon in order to break the chains that bind me. It is so, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Is so. You do the same thing with the soap. Yeah, okay. So now, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> I really do get emotional, you know, because you know, I told you, you guys, I am also doing this uh, three-part ritual again because I need it from years gone by and we're not talking about just from the years where I was here in Germany I'm talking about from from the the, the formative years you know and this would apply to everybody because everybody has got something that they're going through, whether it be from, mm, how can I put this delicately, because I'm not blaming anybody. And I mean that honestly and sincerely, I blame no one for the way that I am, okay? But if, if you went through childhood traumas or if things were said to you that weren't positive, you know, do your, during your formulative years from the age of infant on up to six years old and sometimes beyond, those words form chains and they are locked onto you and into you. And what we are doing with this ritual is we are removing those chains. We are removing the chains. Okay? So, the next part is this. Through my powers intertwined with that of my spiritual support group, or whomever it is that you interact with for such matters, I now release, reject, and banish my emotional pain chains. I now release, reject, and banish my physical pain chains. I now release, reject, and banish my mental pain chains. So, this is where you take the paper. And see, that's what this is. These little jewels right here. These little jewels of hatred, these little jewels that have perhaps left marks from the whip on your skin, these little jewels that have left open wounds in your soul, in your spirit, these little jewels that have gripped onto you like a tightened chain that you have no way of unlocking. That's what these are. That's what this is. You are going to write down seven, seven names of whomever it was that added their chains onto you, who put you in bondage, whether it be mentally, emotionally or physically or maybe all three of those you're going to write down the three names and you're going to write down what they did to you what they said to you you're going to write that down and then you're going to <clears throat> You're going to write them separately 
so you can cut them like this and then you're going to take this beautiful little gem here and just we are going to drive this shit away from us from our souls and I just put them in here because it's just easier to grab onto so um, this is when you get your fireproof dish and if you're like me a big chicken <laughs> I got my tongs right here because um, fire is hot I don't know if you know that <laughs> but fire is so hot okay now what we're gonna do is each and every one of these after you have written them out and put them in your little holder whatever you have or if you just want to lay them on the desk that's fine too but before you do anything else you're going to read them either out loud if you can or silently you're going to read them and then fold it away from you and then you're going to either hold it with your fingers if you're really brave or with tongs and you're going to light that little effer on fire just like this release I release the chains that bind me I release the chains that bind me the next one same thing you're gonna fold it away from you after you've read it you're gonna take these little tongs or your fingers and you're gonna set that little effer on fire and say I release I release I release the chains that bind me. And we're going to do that with all seven of these puppies. Release, release, release. I release the chains that bind me. Release. And if you cry, it's okay. Let it out. It's okay. That's what this is about. Because we are cleansing our souls. We are cleansing us. We are bringing us back to the light. So if you have to cry, it's okay. Just, just make sure you have a big roll of toilet paper or some tissues next to you. Which I don't have. And just get on with it because this is for your well-being release release I release the chains that bind me Release, release, release. I release the chains that bind me. I release the chains that bind me. last one release 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 I release the chains that bind me I release the chains that bind me I release the chains that bind me and then we go forward with I am now free to become who and what I desire to be as of this day as of this time only I own me my mind is mine 
all negativity you send my way, I return back to you and there it shall stay. I now know my worth as well as my power and no longer will I be forced to bow down or cower. It is so. It is so. It is so. Ashe, ashe, asheo, asheo, asheo. And then what I like to do with this, with all of this disgusting, mind-warping crap that's in here. I'll take it far away, far away from where I live. And on a windy day, I will pour the ashes out into the wind and let them be taken away on the wind. And then, Next week, I will show you what we are going to do after we have broken those chains now. So be sure to, to come back and see the ending next week on Wednesday. Those of you who watched throughout the whole entire video, thank you. Thank you for watching and I do, I hope I hope so desperately that you will do this ritual because it is so freeing and so empowering. If you need help, let me know through the comments below or through uh, email, okay? I will have my email address listed and all of that. So that is the end of the ritual for today. Like I said, next Wednesday we'll be back to end this ritual and pump you up. Because that's what it's about. Because you deserve to be loved. You deserve to realize you are someone of worth, of value. You are not to be ground down into the dirt while another person stands on top of you with their chest puffed out. That's not how this is going to end. Okay. So once again, I am the Silver Sage Witch of Witchcraft and more. And I'm the headmistress. I, I am the headmistress of the Academy of International Witchcrafting. You guys, I think I said it to you last time, I am a maverick witch. <laughs> and a lot of the other witches don't like that so much. But that's okay, you know why? Because I'm doing my thing. I'm doing what works, you see? I'm doing what works and I'm doing my damnedest to try not to hurt anybody else. But like I told you last time and several other times before, you mess with me or my family, I'm not going to be such a nice witch. You guys, enroll. Let's do this together. Okay? I wish you and yours the brightest of magical blessings. And I'll see you next week for the third part of episodes for bringing love back to yourself, loving yourself, and getting rid of the chains that bind you, breaking those chains. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>